Hi all, we're on this side. So today I will discuss about Lightning Radio Group and the work around how we can change the radio group uh, vertical to the horizontal. So Lightning Group, uh, so the Lightning Radio Group is nothing but the radio options which is uh, which is basically available uh, to take the input from the customer or the applicant, and it form of the radio element. So you can see this sales and force. These two are the radio element, and out of the box. Uh, feature which has been provided to render this radio element is vertically but if in some use case you wanted to make it horizontally you wanted to display the radio element horizontally then how we can do that so in this video i will discuss this work around so if i go to the salesforce uh, developer documents uh, in the com component references so you can see this is a radio group a reference which has been given uh, this is an example, basic radio group, and to uh, to basically sh render this radio element, you have to use this uh, markup uh, lightning radio group. You have to provide the name of the radio group. So you can see this name is coming from the name of group. This is the label. Okay, this is the name you have given. Uh, this is the label which is coming from the radio group, and these are these are the options. Whatever the options you wanted to render, so this option should be come from your uh, JavaScript. These are the values. Values are nothing but when, whenever you're clicking sales or force or any of the radio element, whatever the value should become in the backend, that value will be defined uh, in this uh, value from the JS. And this is a type radio. You can also make it as a button. So if I will change this to button, so you can see this has been rendered as a button. So This is also you can uh, change, but if you wanted to make change this radio element uh, into in, in horizontally, you wanted to render horizontally, how we can do that? Okay, so for that, if I uh, go to my uh, file that I have already created, so this is basically uh, a Lightning web component that I have created, and this is the Lightning group radio group element where I have given the name, label, options, value, and all of these things, value and options are coming from this JS. Okay, so you can see the labels of the radio elements is Royal Enfield and the Meteor. And these are the value which will be coming after choosing this radio element, which is option one and option two. Uh, class, okay. So now, uh, as you can see here, I have given uh, one uh, reference of the class. So using this class, we can change we can basically make the radio element uh, horizontally, okay? So here you can see this radio and if uh, this radio and uh, Royal Enfield and Meteor radio element is uh, rendering as an uh, horizontally. Why it is rendering as an horizontally? Because I have given the reference of this class, okay? <clears throat> and this class has been uh, modified using the custom CSS that I have loaded in the static resource. So if I go to the my JS file, you can see uh, I have uh, imported one custom CSS, okay, from the static resource, and then this is a custom CSS I have loaded using the load style library. I have just imported this load style, and I have just loaded this custom CSS, which is overriding this class, which is overriding this radio element, uh, and we have given the re reference of this class in the static resource. So where, where is the re uh, static resource? Uh, so you can see here in the custom CSS. This is the class uh, which I have given here, the reference. Okay. And this is a SLDS radio structure that I am overriding and making it display as an inline. Inline means horizontally. Uh, okay. And this custom CSS, we have uh, basically loaded in the static resource. If you wanted to see the static resource, So it's taking a bit time. So here the custom CSS, this one. So custom CSS we have loaded here, right? It's custom CSS from the static resource. So that this is the custom CSS. We have just uploaded one file if I open this one. 
So once I will click this uh, file, it will open uh, this custom CSS. And this custom CSS is nothing but we are just making this uh, markup to display in line. So this is one of the workaround if you wanted to make the radio element to display as an horizontal instead of vertically. I will discuss the further functionality that I, had, that I have built as part of this radio element. So till then, stay tuned and subscribe my channel. Yeah, thank you.